but women in the U.S. are having fewer babies. Turns out a lot of young patients are missing out on critical time with their doctors, too. Those are some health headlines this morning. Let's go to Haley. Hey, good morning, guys. So a new government report shows the fertility rate in 2017 was 16% below what is needed for the population to replace itself. In fact, only two states, South Dakota and Utah, had fertility rates above the replacement level. Washington, D.C. had the lowest fertility rate, followed by Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and New Hampshire. One of the reasons for the downward trend, a big reduction in teen pregnancies. Experts believe the trend will even out or even reverse as the generation of women delaying marriage have the babies that they do intend to have. They also note one new option younger generations have is freezing their eggs, an option which was not available to previous generations. New research from Columbia University reveals only half of teens and young adults have had time alone with their doctor. That's despite professional guidelines that recommend young people have access to confidential services. The study also found teens who did did get private time with a doctor were more positive about regular screenings, vaccinations, and counseling. Young women were more likely to have had private time with a doctor than men. And a new study suggests excess belly fat may lead to a smaller brain. British researchers studied nearly 10,000 adults and 19% were considered to be obese. Those who had a high body mass index had a slightly lower brain volume. However, the brain size was even smaller in those who also had excess belly fat. Previous research has linked brain shrinkage to memory loss and a higher risk of dementia. Now, if your child has asthma, you're familiar with the coughing, wheezing symptoms. But did you know acid reflux can have the same symptoms? Uh. Coming up at 640, why you may want to ask about the food-related problem if your child's asthma is not improving. Because uh. it might not be asthma at yeah, all. Yeah, that's very helpful. I wonder how many people are misdiagnosed. Yeah, so stay tuned at 640 for details. All right, thanks a lot.